Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our Daily Angelic message for June 19th, 2024. Happy Juneteenth. I love you. I love you. All right, so this is a good card, especially for today because it's 10 of Raphael. 10 of Raphael's freedom. 10 of Raphael is being able to be happy within your existence. It says, love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationships with family members, happily ever after. I'm telling you guys, something beautiful is setting up here. Uh, and I, it's very unexpected. I can't, you guys know I don't usually do the whole uh, romantic reading thing because one, I think it's just overkill on the internet. And, you know, doing general love readings, I believe, it's very difficult. You can, listen, it's not difficult to do the reading. I could do one of those. But it's, love is too nuanced for each individual and, and what they're supposed to be learning on their soul's contract through those relationships, right? So I don't know how much benefit you're going to get from it. Again, it could be fun and entertaining if that's why you're watching it. Awesome. You know, that's cool. But if you're looking for a love question, that sh that's, in my opinion, better done through a one-on-one -on -one reading, whether it's with me or someone else, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that they are ethical and that they care about you before they start. They're, they don't just care about the money you're giving them, but they care about you. Okay. So the 10 of Raphael could, generically speaking, <laughs> talk about love connections, but I think this is just um, a deep feeling of fulfillment. And I also think that this is a day where a lot of you are allowing yourselves to rest. And that is what helps you feel alive again. It's what helps you um, start manifesting the things that you really want to have in your life. If you have fun, if you allow yourself to let go of hatred and pain and resentment and um, negative thinking, you know, which I don't, I'm not a psychologist, but I wonder if that's not a trauma response. Because I know I've done that much of my life where it's like doom thinking. I know that person's going to hurt me. What's the point of getting into a relationship? It's just going to end. I know. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's how I've done it. Or someone makes one mistake. This might be me being so much Scorpio and a Cancer moon. Maybe. Um, but it's like, oh, you wounded me. I'll never forget. You know, and then after that, I'm like, no, you showed me that you could be an a-hole. So I know it's in your DNA. And I know it's going to come back. <laughs> right? So this would be an opportunity for us to, to check that a little bit and just try to grow through it. And like I just admitted to the internet, I'm in the same boat. So anyway, we're going to leave it there before I get myself into more trouble. I am sending you all so much love and take care.